Okay, the use of the standard spectrophotometer. Here are the operation instructions. First you have to turn this on and let it go for about 15 minutes. And then you're going to set the wavelength and select the mode. So we're going to go over here and the wavelength's at 600. That's already been selected for us, but if you wanted to turn it to make it exactly 600, you could. We have to look down on this. There we go. So it's uh, kind of level. It's kind of a bad angle here for this camera, but then you go here and you see what filter to use, and it's 600 because that's the color that we see um, the broth being some, sort of a light orange, um, dark bright, dark yellow, so it's in that 55, 550 to 750 nanometer range. So we use the orange filter. We pull this out. We've selected the mode to be absorbance, not transmission, and um, we're ready to go. So the next part is to clean our um, blanks. We're going to pick a, a yeast broth blank here, and it's not been inoculated. So we have to clean this off and make sure that it doesn't have any kind of fingerprints or anything on it, and then we can go ahead and insert it into the um, the little drawer here. And this has already been cleaned, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Just use a lens tissue and, and clean it on the outside. You put that in there, you make sure that it's set at zero. So you move this knob right here until it comes to zero, and you just have to fiddle with it until it gets to be, it's a very scientific term. You have to make it so that it is zero. So if you're going away from zero, then turn it the other direction even until you're going towards zero. When you get to zero, pull this back out. And we're going to set the um, test broth in there. And again, I've already cleaned this, but you should kind of make sure it's really mixed up because sometimes they sediment down there. And you want to make sure that it's clean before you put it in here. So set it down and read it. And it's 0.23 is the value for the optical density. So it's sort of like zeroing your um, your digital scale when you start. You want to make sure that everything's zeroed out and then you can go ahead and measure the actual amount. So that is basically how to read our spectrophotometer.